CDI and arcade games, a combination that may sound odd, but truth be told, CDI does have some great conversions, for the FMV arcade games that is. When it comes to the more classical arcade games, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's just Namco's arcade classics. Or is there? Well, kinda, maybe? There's this weird title on CDI called Golden Oldies 1, and we're going to take a look at it. From the cover we can immediately see what the two games included are supposed to be, and no, these are not official conversions by any means. We've got a guardian as some kind of defender and there be invaders that need shooting as there's clearly no space for them. Indeed, the design document wasn't overflowing with originality with this one. But who made it? What games do you know that don't mention the developer nor the publisher on the box or the CD label? Heck, it doesn't even appear in the game itself. It's one of the few games that does not offer any credits when you hit the exit button on the menu. Which kinda makes me wonder why they even bothered to put it in there, as opening the disc tray does the exact same thing now. That menu does give you one hint though, did you spot it? Well, let's check out the games and perhaps those will give you some more clues. Let's start with Guardian, which opens up with a pretty red song on an otherwise boring title screen. This is, as expected, a Defender clone and unfortunately not a very enjoyable one. It has the fundamentals in place and all Defender features seem to be present, but things just feel off. The ship is pretty responsive, but due to the big sprites, harsh hitboxes and fairly narrow play area, it's very easy to crash into stuff. Especially when you speed up, it's quite difficult to react in time and you really need to focus heavily on the radar to have any chance. Quickly turning around can also backfire real quick, as this will hurl you about halfway across the screen, causing you to crash into whatever you were actually trying to avoid. Enemies are also all too happy to camp your spawn area. The game is just very frustrating altogether. There's supposed to be 7 levels, but honestly I've never made it past the third one, and I've tried. See, here's my low scores, which are saved to the CDI's memory. I will give the game credit for its cool graphics, I love the sprite work and there's some pretty cool particle effects going on which isn't something you see a whole lot of on CDI. Pretty visuals don't make a good game on their own I'm afraid though and unfortunately that cool intro song we heard? Yeah, no music during gameplay whatsoever. And to avoid further comments on the lack of music, that was actually the only audio track on the entire disc. But what about the second game, Invaders? Uh, you might want to mute this one actually. Not only does it have no music at all, but it has sound effects that get real annoying real fast. Really, this one has nothing going for it at all. Sprites aren't even that great here and quite jarring with just like 2 frames of animation. The enemies are also quite aggressive, so it's constantly pouring bullets. It's playable, sure, but it just doesn't offer anything that makes you want to play it. Heck, for some reason this one doesn't even have a high score table. By now you probably have already figured out who made this. The logo on the menu, the visuals or even the kind of music, little of it there is. Yep, this is actually from the Vision Factory, the devs behind some of the most creative and technically impressive games for the system, like Steel Machine, The Apprentice and Looky Look the video game to name a few. Really, Guardian kinda feels like a prototype of Steel Machine and Invaders is, well, it's the hidden game Marv Invaders from The Apprentice, just with a different skin. Now you might think that would mean that this was actually an early release, but nope, it's their last. Well, right next to Golden Oldies 2 of course, which came out at the same time. This one also features two games and it's also pretty obvious from the case which one served as uh, inspiration. First up we have Bug Hunt, which has no music at all, no high score table and also isn't too kind to your ears with quite annoying sound effects. Seeing as each game has to be slightly different in some way, this one lets you move the cursor all across the menu screen for some reason. Doesn't mean much, but being the being of pure chaos that I am, I appreciate the small touches that make me feel right at home. Anyway, in the game you just move, shoot, kill and survive. It seems to be a very basic representation of the centipede idea, but honestly it doesn't feel too much like it. After a while the screen does change color, indicating a change of level, I guess. 
The big enemies and bigger hitboxes will make sure that you won't make it too far though. As for the second game... Wow, what's this? Do my ears deceive me? Is there actual music again? That's a nice change of pace. And you're absolutely right, of course this is based on something different than Breakout. Can't quite put my finger on what. I'm sure someone in the comments will be sure to let me know in a kind and most patient manner. This is actually a pretty fun time. Yeah, it's an original and I guess it's a bit crude with some wonky physics at times. But it has a fair speed, offers all the typical power-ups and looks quite pleasing. It has 75 boards in total, or so it's said. The game has no continue feature, so good luck reaching that far with your 5 starting lives. And no, you don't start out with 6. It does that atypical thing where 1 on your life counter actually means you're on your last life. But really, this is the one game I actually had fun with and it controls really well too. You can even use the little switch on the controller to adjust the pedal speed to adjust to your style and if you have the CDI mouse, it's even better. Heck, not every brick busting game on CDI can claim that. The game has no music during gameplay, but when you go game over it'll happily play you some more tunage. And then again with a different track whilst you fill out your name for the high scores. Because those are back for some reason for this one. And just to stay consistent with being inconsistent, this game offers a demo option to let the CPU show you how it's done. Cheating I mean, it's not actually being good or anything. So that's one out of the four games that's actually kind of fun, making for a pretty sad and disappointing collection. It makes me wonder why it was even put out there and honestly, I don't know. When Philips decided to be done with CDI, they weren't very elegant to put it mildly. They just pulled the plug and left quite a few developers hanging who promptly found themselves without a publisher. The Vision Factory was mainly active on CDI, thus one can imagine that the end of CDI was a bit of a bother for them, to say the least. Could it be that this was put out there in an attempt to stay in business and recuperate some of their investments into the platform? Who knows really. It's just rather sad to realize that this was the swan song for such a talented group as they did go under not very long after. Also, in a way, it was at least nice of them to still put something out there. Not only were developers betrayed, but also the consumers who saw many promises go up in smoke as Philips pulled the plug and moved on as if the thing never existed. It can't have been cheap to self-publish at that time. For gameplay, these discs are not worth chasing after. Now for collecting, it might be. These games seem to fly under the radar a bit and despite how relatively rare they are, you often find them for very little money. So if you spot them and intend to collect for CDI, it might be worth picking up. I think these were only available through mail order from 1997, so there can't be too many of these out there. Luckily, we still have some other games from the Vision Factory to look back to at some point so we won't have to end on such a sour note on their legacy. But that's for another time. I do hope you've liked this look at these oddball games and if you did, please let me know. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in again and hope to see you in a new video soon. For now, take care, the muzzle.